Alright, so today I'm bringing you something a little different. Doom news has been pretty slow recently, and not many things have popped up that would warrant a full-on news video, so today I'm going to be doing a Doom news roundup video instead of one of us focused on a single subject. While I would typically make a video within the first 24 hours of the information dropping, I'm going to have to change that if things keep moving at this pace. It's honestly a lot easier for me to grab a bunch of smaller topics and put them into one video than it is to stretch out a single 30 second topic, so I'll probably just keep doing these until things pick back up again. I'm not really sure how many of these I'll be doing or how frequently I'll be doing them, but I think it's better for both of us if I condense everything down into a weekly roundup video. I'll be covering a decent handful of topics in today's roundup, so be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you enjoy it. You'll get to stay up to date on everything Doom and Quake, and I'll get your support, so it's a win-win for both of us. Going into today's first topic, it seems like we may have just gotten a look at this year's QuakeCon exclusive Slayer skin via some new merchandise that was just revealed. Amongst all of these shirts, pins, and plushes that were revealed as a part of the QuakeCon 2022 merch set, a new Doom Slayer miniature was also revealed. This specific version of the Mini Slayer, which seems to be called the Dark Mode Doom Guy, may just be a smaller version of a skin that we'll be getting later this year. It doesn't match the overall color palette of this specific event, but I'll be honest, these colors look pretty damn cool and I can't wait to see what we get in game. I seriously wouldn't be surprised if we did get this black and white one, but I also wouldn't be surprised if we got something that looks a little more like this. This is a mock-up that kind of shows what the Slayer skin this year could have looked like, but I would honestly prefer this black one. Moving into the second topic, Doom Eternal may finally be done with Twitch Prime skin packs. I'm sure that most of us are aware that the Series 9, 11, and 12 repeat bundles were given out as free prime rewards instead of being put out as separate repeat events, but what you probably didn't know is that these bundles are now permanently out of a Twitch Prime rotation. As far as I can tell, they didn't put any other repeats up for grabs, and strangely, they also didn't put any of these on any online marketplace. This could mean three things. Either they're waiting to make full events out of them, they aren't able to put them into the store yet because of their Prime deal, or they just never plan on releasing them again. Whatever the reason, I'm just honestly glad that we don't have to deal with the Twitch Prime stuff anymore. It caused way more harm than it should have. I do genuinely hope that these get put into the store for those of you that want them, though. I know there's quite a few people in my comments section that seem to want these. I also wanted to bring up what I thought was a pretty interesting Doom Eternal change that I recently noticed. The change doesn't have anything to do with the contents of the game itself, but instead with the game's price. The standard version of Doom Eternal was recently lowered from a full $60 to only $40 across all platforms. Now, admittedly, it probably sounded like I was going somewhere with that, but that's honestly it. I just wanted to let you know that Doom Eternal is now permanently cheaper across the board, so if you wanted to get it on a different platform or purchase it as a gift, now's your chance. If you enjoyed that brief and pretty light news roundup, then be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content. It would genuinely help out the channel if you could do so. If you're looking for more recent news updates on Doom or Quake, then you can click on the end card to watch another one of my update videos. Otherwise, I think that's it for today's video, so thank you all for watching. Until next time.